The Fritzel case emerged in April 2008 when a woman named Elizabeth Fritzel told police in the town of Amstetten, Austria that she had been held captive for 24 years behind eight locked doors in a console corridor part of the basement area of the large family house by her father Joseph Fritzel and that Fritzel had physically assaulted, sexually abused, and raped her numerous times during her imprisonment. The abuse by her father resulted in the birth of seven children. Elizabeth, all six of her surviving children, and her mother Rosemary were housed in a local clinic where they were shielded from the outside environment and received medical and psychological treatment. Members of the Fritzel family were offered new identities but it was emphasized that it was their choice to make. Elizabeth and the three children held captive in the cellar required further therapy to help them adjust to the light after years in semi-darkness. They also needed treatment to help them cope with all the extra space that they now had. In May 2008, a handmade poster created by Elizabeth, her children, and her mother at the therapy facility was displayed in the Amstetten Town Center. The message thanked local people for their support. We, the whole family, would like to take the opportunity to thank all of you for sympathy at our fate. Your compassion is helping us greatly to overcome these difficult times, and it shows us there are also good and honest people here who really care for us. We hope that soon, there will be a time where we can find our way back into a normal life. June 8, 2008, Kirsten was reunited with her family when she was awakened from her artificially induced coma. Doctors said that she would make a full recovery. It was revealed that Elizabeth and her children were more traumatized than previously thought. During captivity, Kirsten tore out her hair in clumps and was reported to have shredded her dresses before stuffing them in the toilet. Estefan could not walk properly because of his height of 5 feet and 8 inches, which had forced him to stoop in the 5 feet and 6 inches high cellar. It has also been revealed that normal everyday occurrence, such as the dimming of lights or the closing of doors, plunged Kirsten and Estefan into anxiety and panic attacks. The other three of Elizabeth's children who were raised by their father are being treated for anger and resentment at the events. After the trial, Elizabeth and her six children were moved to an unnamed village in northern Austria, where they are living in a fortress-like house. All of the children require ongoing therapy. Alexander, Monica, and Lisa, who learned the truth about the lies that their father told them, about their mother abandoning them and the abuse they received from their grandfather during their childhood. And Kirsten, Estefan, and Felix for their deprivation from normal development and lack of fresh air and sunshine and the abuse that they had also received as their mother Elizabeth had from their father or grandfather when he visited them in the basement. Elizabeth allows her three children, who grew up in Joseph and Rosemary's house, to visit their grandmother regularly. Rosemary lives alone in a small apartment. Elizabeth Fritzel and her children cope with their recovery well, given the difficult lives they endured for so long. And according to Fritzel's sister-in-law, Christine, Elizabeth enjoys spending her time shopping taking frequent showers and driving. She has passed her driving test without difficulty. Her relationship with Thomas, one of her bodyguard, was reported to be ongoing, with him becoming a big brother figure to her children. All of Elizabeth's children have developed normal sibling relationship with each other, and after having trouble dealing with the traumatic events, the three upstairs children slowly began 
recognizing Elizabeth as their mother. The children enjoy being outdoors, playing video games, and spending time with their mother and grandmother. Despite their strained relationship, Elizabeth and her mother Rosemary started visiting each other more, and Elizabeth has reportedly forgiven her mother for believing her father's stories and not pursuing the mother further.